Okay, uh, so uh, first let's just have a quick intro about um, how to create dashboards in Google, the Google Data Studio or the Looker Studio, and then we will have a demo session. And I, I, I think uh, we didn't have a demo session for yesterday as well, so we will try to cover that as well. So, uh, so Looker Studio, like our uh, the Google Data Studio, is a BI uh, like business intelligence uh, and data. B Sorry, uh, and data visualization tool, uh, and we use it to create dashboards and reports that shows just to show the insight that we got from uh, the data or our data. So we can, and not only can we like visualize the data, we can also transform them and create new fields and edit the fields that were already there and so on. And the thing about uh, the Looker Studio that I was talking about in the morning session on the standup is that um, we can connect it into uh, with various uh, like data sources uh, so it's easier to get started with it so we can co connect it with uh, google sheets big queries and analytics and so more uh, we can also co connect it with the, with our um, company's database uh, and so on so it's easy so the reason that uh, we are choosing looker studio is just uh, like the interactiveness of the da dashboards created with uh, Looker Studio, and effortlessly, like we can just drag and drop the column that we are we want to visualize, and it will visualize it for us. And we can collaborate with our team easily, and uh, like we can connect it with uh, multiple data sources, as I mentioned earlier. So the benefits are, uh, it's free, the first thing. It's free and user friendly. like the starters can, uh, like uh, even for a starter, it's easy to get started and we can connect it with various uh, data source sources. So we don't need to migrate to a new data source or platform just to get started. And the drag and drop function is, makes it so much easier. Uh, to work with uh, the Looker Studio and uh, the interactiveness of the visualizations that are created by using uh, Looker Studio uh, and real-time updates. Like this means, uh, so whenever there is an update on our um, database, we don't need to manually update the Looker Studio report or the dashboard. It will update itself automatically. We just need to give it a time, uh, like like a time interval that it needs to uh, update. And the interface is user friendly and uh, real time data visualization. And we can easily customize reports in the dashboard. It's, and it's easy to share and work with your teammates. And yeah, we can easily integrate it with other uh, Google products. So the core features are. Uh, it can integrate with the Google eco ecosystem. Uh, like we can do advanced and uh, analytics and visualizations. Uh, like this is just beyond the capability of uh, the Google Sheets. Because I think uh, I think on week three or week two, I think the amount of data that you had uh, it was a bit hard to analyze and um, to visualize by using Google. Google Sheets, so it may take a lot of like a long time just to load these things. Like, but for uh, Looker Studio, it's much much easier and much much uh, like enhanced per the, like, uh, the performance wise. So if you have a small like if you have a small data set, you might not need to use the Looker Studio, but for large data sets and for advanced analytics, I think. The Looker Studio is a better choice. 
and the data management system uh, and the governance is centralized and like the, the dashboard is uh, interactive we will see what i mean by that and uh, the, the insights are updated with real time so we can easily customize the charts and the data modeling and transformation tools are the core features of the Luger Studio. Uh, am I moving too fast? No, you are good. Oh, okay, good. Okay. So uh, this is just a comparison between the Luger Studio and the Google Sheets. So for the Luger Studio, it's ideal for uh, like a bigger data set and for a more advanced analytics in business intelligence. And uh, like we can easily connect it with our database without the need for migration. And it offers complex data modeling and que uh, querying. And the Google Sheets is suitable for smaller data sets and for uh, more simpler visualizations and uh, analytics just to do some basic analytics. And it's uh, limited to spreadsheet-based uh, data manipulations, unlike the Looker Studio. So um, just to see the basic parameters that you need to know when getting started with uh, creating your first uh, report with Data Studio, uh, the Looker Studio, the first thing is the metrics. So. It's just uh, the numerical cal calculation, like uh, the question of what and how many times, how much and what percentage. Like if you want to answer these questions, uh, it's called the matrix. So it represents the numerical value you want to measure within the data. It could be the, like, uh, the revenue, the cost and so on. But the dimension shows the why. Like, uh, so uh, because uh, behind every metric there is a why, right? Like why did, did this happen? So it's a category, it could be a category or a numerical or a qualitative uh, value of the data. So it acts as a grouping or a filtering criteria for the metrics. So we are measuring the metrics and the dimension is going to uh, help us with the grouping or the, the filtering. And the uh, data range is just the boundaries, right? The upper and the lower range of the like the metrics that we want to me measure. So we need to know three things. Okay, so the best practice for uh, designing a dashboard by using, like actually this is the, the best practice for designing any dashboard by using any tools. So the first thing is we need to keep it uh, simple and uh, which means just to focus on the key metrics. It's not about how many charts that we have and how appealing it is. Like it's about answering the business objective, right? So for this week, your business objective is just to choose a city that's suitable or that goes along with the goals of the company, right? So you need to, like when you are creating the report, you need to stick with that uh, 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 like uh, business ob objective. So you don't need to add everything. And you need to have a clear visualization, just try to choose the right type of uh, chart uh, that would better explain your work and consistencies um, like actually it's just one report that we're expecting but if you are aware to have multiple reports the consistency is key because you need to have uh, like a consistent design and layout between the pages of the report and the performance uh, like like it needs to be uh, easy and uh, quick to load by optimizing the data sources so uh, that's it for just uh, the introduction. Uh, any questions, guys? Okay, no quick questions. Okay, let me just find the 
it also that I was okay. If there are no questions, let's move on to a demo. So can you see this my screen? Okay. okay, so uh, this is a data set. Um, so it's just to track uh, for online shopping for online sets. So on the first row, we have on the first column, we have the uh, order number, which is just uh, like a continuum, like, um, yeah. And the order date, the date that was that the thing with that item was ordered and order type is it wholesale or is it retail and the customer type is it for a business or for individual and then the customer name the customer state where the customer is from and the program the product category is it rose is it daisy is it a sunflower and so on um, the product number and the product name and the quality uh, the, sorry, the quantity, like how how much uh, did they order and the price and the discount, if there is any, like it's not always the same, and uh, the total order. So uh, like the quantity multiplied by the price minus uh, discount. So this is our... Um, data set that we are going to be working on. So it's a large data set actually, um, it's around uh, 5K. Um, so, uh, yeah, let's get started with the looker. Okay. Um, I think I need to share my screen. Okay, let's get started. Uh, so let's uh, start with the Looker Studio. And then let's open up the Looker Studio uh, web. Yeah, so uh, if you have created your account, you're gonna be created with this one. So what we're gonna do is just, we're gonna create a new uh, data source. So as I've, uh, I'm sorry, as I've mentioned earlier, like we can connect it with multiple data sources, like you can connect it with uh, MySQL, Postgres, and for if you have a YouTube, YouTube analytics and so on, right? Uh, so, since our data is on uh, go, the Google Sheets, we're going to connect it with it. So, we're going to click on that, and it's going to list all the uh, sheets, spreadsheets that we have. So, let's choose it, and the sheet is already included. So, let's connect with it. So we are created with this, um, like, if you want um, to like change some of the attributes of the columns. So, uh, so the discount is not a number; it's a currency, right? So, currency it's in uh, like USD dollars, and we, we want the default uh, aggregation to be the sum. So we're gonna leave, leave it at that. Um, then the price also is going to be the currency, so USD dollars, and um, it's going to be the sum. And this is a number, okay? Yeah. So we want to create a report with, with this. So we're just going to click on create report. So. 
So here is our report page. Yeah. So here is our uh, report. So let's just get rid of this one. And so, yeah, like we can choose a chart. Like, uh, let's start with uh, the scorecard, and we can just resize it to the size that we want. And we're going to choose which metric we want to uh, we want to me measure. So let's work with. Uh, uh, like, let's work with the price. So, according to the price, we have this much price, the sum of the price. Uh, but this price is not multiplied by the quantity, right? So, let's add the data, right? So we want to add uh, not. We want to add a data. So should be right here. Okay. Like this. Okay, um, for now let's just work with this one. And let's just see the time chart, uh, just to see where and when uh, the orders are at the peak value and on the lower value. So, this is for every day, right? So, let's make it by month. So, on the dimensions, uh, make uh, the default format, okay, it's good. Okay, it's good. Matrix is one price. We can actually add a matrix on uh, discounts. So we can see where the discounts are on a maximum and or, or on a minimum, sorry. Yeah. So we can actually change this by uh, from, uh, sorry, to, uh, let's go with month. So for every month, we have uh, the order date, the range, and so on. Just, you can just play around with it. So before I go on, uh, are there any questions? Any questions, guys? Yeah, so here I can actually add a field, add a calculated field, and, uh, uh, okay, let's call it uh, total sales. And the total is going to be the quantity multiplied by the price. So price. So let's save it. Um, and let's check if this yeah total sales is available, but it's not a number. 
it's a currency and it's in USD dollars and we want to aggregate it into SI. Yeah. So I just changed it here, but it will be automatically uh, changed it here too. Uh, it should be. Let me just try to refresh it. Yeah, total sales is here, so let's just try drag it. Yeah. Total sales. I don't want this one. I want the score one. So it's just counting the records but I want to, um, the metrics to be um, the total sales. Yep, so we sold around 6.9 million. And you can actually change this. Uh, you can actually uh, like play around with, with it. You can compact it since the last the earlier number seems to be like a lot but 6.9 million is better to visualize and so on yeah so the price uh, price wise and this one in total of course is this one and we have so the dynamic means this one when you hover around it it's interactive right so we can see on March run how what was the price and how was the discount and so on so if you want uh, just to include the uh, let's say you want to include uh, the discount right so total price after discount so what do you think the uh, formula is going to be so it's going to be uh, price right price uh, minus discount but we need to make it multiplied by um the quantity and Okay, it's not going to work. Yeah, it should work. Okay. So, where is it? I can't see it, right? Okay. Okay. Sorry. Let's try to add it again. So, price, price minus uh, discount multiplied by uh, quantity. So this should work. Oh, sorry. I need to save it first. Yeah. Oh. Total price after discount. Okay. So it's saved. Uh, let's just uh, change the parameters. So we need to change this one into currency and we want to aggregate it into some. Yeah. So let's just add a chart, a scoreboard, and put it here. And we want to calculate this one. And let's just compact it. 
So we had around uh, 1.2 million, 1.24 million discounts, right? So we can visualize it like this. Yep. So any questions, guys? I think when I was just talking on my on my on all my by myself. All by myself. Patience, guys. Am I audible? Hello? Guys, I'm here to hold. Can you hear? Okay. okay. Um, so, do you guys have patience or is it all clear? Yeah, you can create. So, what I showed you is just one page, right? But you can have multiple pages if you want. You just have to click on add pages. But for now, I think it's good to just stick with uh, one page. Okay. Any other questions, guys? I think um, I think it is the second session, so I'm going to take it as a, as if everything is clear. Again, Zorofail is uh, has understood and Firmsa. What about Gitarre and Tavork? Very enough work. Can you show some reactions? Hello. Let me just uh, let me just start the start the recording and. Okay. Um, yeah. So 